Okay. So, uh, this figure uh, explains how uh, how do we do uh, line integrals. Okay. So here we have two points A and B. Okay. And then let's say we are we defined a path going like this. Okay. So in order to do a line integral, so that means we are going to take this vector or take a take a vector. Let's call that vector vector v. Okay. This is a vector function. That is a function of x y and z. So the line integral is given by the integral of the dot product between this vector function v with an infinitesimal length of path or infinitesimal displacement vector. Okay, so one of, one of the, one of the uh, one of the applications of this line integral is by work. Okay, work done by a force, by a varying force, is given by the integral of the force exerted on the particle, and then dotted it with uh, the infinitesimal, uh, infinitesimal displacement vector. And we integrate it between two points, wherein A and B constitute the whole displacement of your particle, okay, uh, as you apply this force. So that means when we define our integral, our line integral, one of the things that we need to indicate as well are the uh, endpoints of this line integral, okay? So this uh, line integral, okay, is carried out along this path, from A to B. Okay, now if the path uh, forms a closed loop, okay, so that means A is equal to B. So instead of writing this integral as integral of d dot dl from a to b, uh, from a to b where b is equal to a, we just rewrite this as having a circle at the middle of the integral sign. So we say when we see this, uh, when we see the symbol, this means that this is a closed integral. Okay. This is a closed integral. Now that is for line integrals. Okay, so we're going to use this for work. We can, we are uh, some examples of which in, so as I mentioned, work, which we're going to talk about later this uh, module. Uh, in week number four, we're going to talk about work and energy in electrostatic fields. Uh, we, we will also use this in uh, for potential. We will also use this in Ampere's law. Okay, so uh, these are some of the examples or topics that will use the concept of the line integral. 